exciting cruise, a Far Eastern trip, and a moving experience. These are some of the prizes that can be won on tonight's special edition of 321. Now, ladies and gentlemen, your host, Ted Rogers. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you so much. I was going to say, have you missed us? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Welcome to 321. Hang on, it's a long time since I've done that. Even my fingers are a bit stiff. Nine months it is since I've done that. A lot can happen in nine months. <laughs> well, it can if you're trying to get directory inquiries anyway. <laughs> the Olympic Games is the theme of our show tonight. In just a couple of weeks, we're going to wish all of our great athletes a, a great, great time. We hope they do very well for us out there tonight. We've got some superb celebrity athletes playing for charity tonight. All the money they win tonight and whatever big prize at the end of the show is won, they're going to auction that off to get more money to go to the Sports Aid Trust. Now, the Sports Aid Trust are wonderful people because they're the ones who encourage all of our youngsters to develop the sport and the talent they have for the sports stars of the future. I think that's a great cause, don't you? Sports Aid Trust. <laughs> I hope they do well. I'm sure they will. There's only one fly in the ointment on our show, and yes, nine months or not, he's still here with us. Say hello to our resident booby prize, Dusty Ben. Here he is. <laughs> That's him. That's our Dusty Ben. Yes, our resident booby prize. Remember, if he's won at the end of the show, our contestants just take home a brand new dustbin. That's all they get. Dusty, we'll see you later. Away you go. Please say hello to our lovely hostess, Linda Lee Lewis. Yeah. Thank you. Hello. Good to see you. Please tell the people about our celebrity athletic guests we've right. got tonight. Our first couple are Olympic sprinter Sonia Lanneman and Olympic shot putter Jeff Cape. Yes. Yeah. couple are Olympic gymnast Suzanne Dando and Olympic swimmer Adrian Morehouse. <laughs> and our final couple are Olympic swimmer Sharon Davis and boxing champion Terry Marsh. Right. <laughs> Sonia and Jeff are couple number one. Now then, Jeff, obviously, uh, you know, I've done a couple of shows with you over the years, and uh, it's always intrigued me how much you weigh. How, is, how much is it now? Uh, today? Yeah, today. Well, it varies from day to day, does it? Uh, yeah, about 26 down one today. Oh, one. But it varies. <laughs> I'm sure. It Listen, varies. but you've represented England more times than any other athlete, haven't you, Great Britain? Um, yeah, more times than any other male athlete. Male athlete. How many uh, times was that? 67 times. 67 times, yeah. Yeah, yeah good. <laughs> Super. Yeah. I'm still going. <laughs> of course you're still going. Lovely Sonia Lanneman's with us too. Now, listen, I know that you've won the 100 metre... Uh, gold for the 100 metres, for the mm -hmm. 200 metres and for the relay. Yeah, four but by it, one. Four by one. Mm -hmm. And in 1976, you got a rather special medal, didn't you? It's didn't you? the MBE for my service to sports. That's lovely. Yeah. <laughs> Isn't that nice? <laughs> yeah. Good. And couple number two, Suzanne, of course, who's been on our programme before. Nice to see you again, and Adrian. Yeah. Now, listen, you started very, very early in, in gymnastics, didn't you? I started when I was about 12 and a half, seriously, really? what we call Olympic gymnastics, uh -huh. yeah. And you also captain in 1985, is that right? For the British girls for the gymnastics. Sure. Awesome. Adrian, it's smashing that you're here, because you're actually in the Olympics in two weeks' time. You're going right. to be there with everybody. And, of course, you've broken many, many records. What one gives you the most... most uh, well, obviously, moment. last year I was the first person to break a minute for my event, the 100 breaststroke. So That's incredible. That was the most thing. Exactly. Yeah, sure. And of course, you're going to be all, all keyed up for going there. Yeah, hopefully it'll be better in the Olympic Games this time. How do you feel? Do you think the team's going to do good anyway? Yeah, I think the British, the swimming team's going to do very good this mm -hmm. time. I mean, all of the nations are there, obviously, so it's going to be hard. But sure. The sure swimming team, we've been training hard and we've got some good prospects. Yeah, I'm sure we have. Well, good luck to you. And couple number three, well, Sharon Davis again. Sharon, we've worked on shows together. Good that you're... And married now, of course, oh, yes. yes. Oh, yes. Enjoy, married. enjoy married <laughs> life, yeah. Uh, it's not a lot different, really. Oh, really? <laughs> oh, well, see, we did it all wrong. <laughs> we didn't have to do it. We could have carried on. <laughs> Terry, it's smashing that you're here. That's right. <laughs> I don't understand. No, no, well, they did. Thank goodness for that anyway. <laughs> but, of course, a fireman we know about and, and the world champion, which gave us a, a great deal of pleasure. I enjoyed it as well. I'm so. sure you did. <laughs> I don't think your opponent did yeah. much, but I'm glad you did. And listen, I heard that you do a bit of stand-up comedy now and again. Is that right? I have done, and uh, I must say, it went down like a reggae band at a Klu Klux Klan meeting. <laughs> <laughs> well, 
Let's hope it's going to go down a bit better than that tonight because you're playing for charity, remember, and the 3 to one quiz. Now, you play for £10 for each correct answer in the first round. And, of course, to start, we always give you £10 to start. All right? Fair enough. That can't be bad before you've even done anything. Now, it's question and answer. When you think you know the answer, you hit the buzzer. Please wait until I say your name and then answer. If you're wrong, I'll say on offer. That question then goes to the other two couples who have a chance to go for it. Again, you must hit the buzzer and just wait until I say your name. End of the quiz, we do say goodbye to the couple with the least amount of money, but uh, we hope you're going to do very, very well for all the charities tonight. And good luck. Here is the first question. This first round of questioning is all about Olympic Games since 1948, OK? Now then, the first question is, which city hosted the 19... 1948 Olympic Games, Sonia and Jeff. England, London, Wembley. Well, I uh, think we'll have to give him that one, but yes. <laughs> Great Britain, <laughs> yes. <laughs> we can't. Yes. <laughs> Here's the next question. Here we are. In which race at the Los Angeles Games did Mary Decker tangle with Sharon and Terry? 5,000 metres. Wrong. On offer. Please wait at Sonia and Jeff. Oh, no. oh. 1500. No, that's also wrong. So I can't answer. No, not the third time. We can't. That has to go in the bin. It was the 3000. Okay, question three. Where were the games at which David Henry won? Got, oh, you anticipated Suzanne and Adrian? 72 Munich. Ah, no, actually, uh, you didn't listen to the question, so I've got to say on offer to the other. Where were the games? Sorry, you've, you've, you've anticipated yeah. Sharon and Terry. That's right, Mexico. Mexico City <laughs> is right. Where were, when David won the oh, hurdles? Yeah. OK, anticipate this one, if you may. Here's the next question. Which United Kingdom boxer won the 1968 Welsh... Suzanne and Adrian have gone yes. for it. Was it Finne one of the Finnegan brothers? Well, it was one. We're going to let that go? Chris. Yeah, Chris, all right. We've got to give yeah, you that one. Yeah, well done. Here's the next question. Name the Australian swimmer who won the women's 100-metre freestyle three Olympics in a row, Sonia and Jeff. Dawn Fraser. Absolutely right, Dawn Fraser. <laughs> next question. At the 1960 Games, two sisters with the surname Press won gold medals. Sonia and Jeff anticipate. Tamara Press and Arena Press. Yes, but that... In pentathlon and modern... Uh, sorry, pentathlon and shot put. That wasn't the question I was going to ask. Russia. So, <laughs> listen to the question and don't anticipate you might get it. Here we are. At the 1960 Games, two sisters with the surname Press won gold medals. Which country did they represent? Adrian and Suzanne. Well, we've just said Russia, so I'll say Russia. Well, it was indeed, yes, he told you. you... <laughs> I said, I said, who they were, what event, and Russia. You said all that, I didn't hear the Russia. OK, L carry on, next question. Who won the 1972 women's pentathlon? Sharon and Terry. Meet, uh, Mary, no, Mary, Mary Peters. Peters. Absolutely right, it was. You helped her well, Terry, there, Mary Peters. <laughs> next question. Name the Romanian girl gymnast. Who won? Shawnee and, Sharon and Terry have gone for it. Nadia Comaneci. Nadia Comaneci, that's right. She won three gold medals at Montreal. <laughs> OK, next question. For which race did Steve Ovet win gold? Suzanne and Adrian. 800, 800 metres is correct. That's right. <laughs> and our tenth question of the first round in 1984. Gold for the women's javelin was won by Britain. Sonia and Jeff. Tessa Sanderson. Tessa Sanderson is right. <laughs> so... In spite of all that, it's pretty even Stephen here, would you believe, at the end of the first round. I can't believe this, because they've all got £40, every couple. <laughs> yes! <laughs> I tell you what, sit there and relax for a moment, and I think we all need to relax a minute, because it's time to meet those regular boys and girls on our show that do a terrific job, the Brian Rogers dancers. Welcome them now.
Good luck. Look at this. Thank you very much. A wonderful Brian Rogers dance as a number called I Sweat to go along with our Olympic theme. And we're certainly sweating here, although at the moment you're all even, Stevens. That means you all get £40 for each correct answer this time. And this is where we want you to really go for money. 15 questions this time and their general knowledge, OK? So be careful with those fingers on the buzzers and no arguing this time. <laughs> OK, general knowledge. First question is whose first number one hit single was Living Doll? That's Suzanne and Adrian. Cliff Richard. Cliff Richard, of course, looks great after 30 years, doesn't he? He does look marvellous. <laughs> OK, what, what value banknote has a picture of the Duke of Wellington on the back? Sharon and Terry? Five pounds. Five pound note is right. <laughs> Next question, what typically French food do the French call a scargo? Sharon and Terry? Snails. Snails is right. <laughs> and then... <laughs> here and off, quick here. Next question, how many court cards are there in a normal pack of cards? Sharon and Terry. Twelve. Twelve is absolutely right. <laughs> Great. In the modern three-core electric flex, what colour insulation covers the live wire? Suzanne and Adrian. Blue. Wrong. Brown. Sorry. On offer. Brown. Brown. That's right, Suzanne. Sonia and Jeff. <laughs> Brown is correct. <laughs> Next question. What is the everyday name for the wild, wild flower known as digitalis? <laughs> Sonia and Jeff have gone for it. Poison ivy. Wrong. So, on offer. <laughs> Suzanne and Adrian. Daisy. That's also wrong. Got to go in the bin. It's foxglove. Oh. That was it. We you knew it. That. You knew it, but you didn't <laughs> say it. <laughs> Next question. Here we are. Which country's ruler is the subject for the recent film The Last Emperor? <laughs> That's Suzanne and Adrian. Japan. Wrong. Oh. So, it's on offer. Sharon and Terry. China is absolutely right. Which island is the venue for the tourist trophy motorcycling races? Suzanne and Adrian? Isle of Man. Isle of Man is right. Which, which member of the royal family has a birthday on the 21st of April? Oh, hang about. It's Sonia and Jeff. Queen. Queen, yeah, you told them that, didn't you? <laughs> give, give us a break. I'm having enough trouble with them. Shut up. <laughs> Next, next question. Here we are. Which volcano overwhelmed the town of Pompeii in Roman times? Sonia and Jeff. Uh, Vesuvius. Vesuvius is right. <laughs> yes. What kind of institution is the setting for the TV series St. Elsewhere? Sharon, Sharon Hospital. Terry. Hospital. Hospital is right. Which, which major British city has its phone numbers preceded by the numbers 061? Sharon and Terry. Birmingham. Wrong. So it's on offer and Suzanne and Adrian have got it. Manchester. Manchester is correct. Who presents the TV show It'll Be All Right on the Night? That's Suzanne and Adrian. Dennis, Dennis. Norton. Dennis, Dennis Norton is correct. <laughs> yes. Now then, cast your mind back in which sport was Emerson Fittibaldi has gone for it, Sonia and Jeff. Yes, you got it, Jeff. Thank you. What, what sport? Motor races. Motor races, right. That's it. <laughs> OK. And this is our final question tonight. Which horse won both this year's derby? And I, OK, Sonia and Jeff have gone for it. Come on, Jeff, we really need you. I love the way. Red rum. On offer. Suzanne and Adrian. Kayazi. Kayazi is right. <laughs> <laughs> Which is where we're all going to be at this rate. <laughs> But at the end of our quiz on our Olympic special, what have we got? My goodness, this is even. Will you believe this? Sonia and Jeff have got £200. Suzanne and Adrian, Sharon and Terry both have £240 apiece. Yes! <laughs> well, I couldn't look down at those scores. I had no idea about that. But it was a bit even. But it feels a like... Bit evil. <laughs> He's a bit evil, but you're going to get the ceramic dusty bin, Jeff. Thank now, come much. on. Thank you. Sonia. Smash him. Thanks for coming. Sonia, bless you. Thank you. Look out for the money. For the folks. We're away for a couple of minutes. See you soon. 3, 2, 1, Olympic special. Two minutes. Bye-bye. <laughs>
part two of three to one, our Olympic special. And in this part of the show, we've got Suzanne Dando and Adrian Morehouse playing against Terry Marsh and Sharon Davis. Now, folks, I've got to remind you what happens here. This is harder than the quiz, I'll tell you that, because you're about to see three items, right? At the end of each one of these acts, one of our guests is going to come here to the table. They'll leave you a clue object, read a rhyme, OK? Now, when there are three here on the table, you've got to choose one to reject if you're the lucky couple who gets through our elimination question. Good luck to you. We'll go on and we'll have act number one. Now, it's great to have this lady back with us, because when you hear the words banded about like fabulous, exciting, she certainly is. She's a terrific entertainer, Grace Kennedy. <laughs> Terrific, as always, Grace. Knock out that. Now, we know you've got a, you've got a bit of a trip to make tonight, haven't That's you? Right, to do cabaret, but that was a terrific spot. Thank you very now, they're much. very, very worried, as always, what you're going to leave them as a clue here. Well, I've got an old running shoe. That's right up there, Ali. There okay, go. that's Ooh. fine. That's the clue. <laughs> an old running shoe. Okay. Listen to this one. Here's the rhyme Park outside your house, guaranteed not to rust, though it's not guaranteed against gathering dust. There you go. Very oh, easy, isn't that? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Grace Kennedy. Thanks, oh, thank Grace. Thank you very much. Have good a luck. good trip. Bye bye, my darling. Bye, love. Oh. Hey? No, you can't have a look, Terry. Can I have a look? He says, no. No, you've got to try and remember. What do you think it could be? I think it could be the bin. Yeah? Yeah. How about Suzanne? Yeah, I think yeah? it could be. I yeah. thought about a car, but I think maybe you're right. Well, you can park a car outside, but like I said, it gathers dust. 
Uh -huh. yeah. Well, that, that's the, the first one. Yeah. I'll tell you what, when we've got the next four coming in here, they'll all so, sound yeah. like the bin as well. Keep thinking about that. We're going to have act number two. Here's a young man. He's a bright talent, actually. He's a very clever fellow, writes all his own material. Great impressionist, terrific comic. Please welcome back Andrew O'Connor. <laughs> because I'm an expert on the Olympic Games because four years ago I went to Los Angeles, you know, and the only thing that spoiled it for me was I went near the Olympic flame and people really abused it, you know. They were throwing papers in there to burn it. They were lighting cigarettes off it. I was shocked. I nearly burnt me sausages. <laughs> Awful way they treat it. But I guess I'll just watch it on the television this year because it'll make a change from soaps, won't it? It will. And I've read in this paper, right, that all children watch nowadays is soaps. It's got so bad that in school, in geography lessons, they've renamed Australia Neighbours Land. <laughs> what about that Neighbours? I can't... They show it twice a day. That's because no one can believe it the first time. <laughs> so... Thank you. I reckon, I reckon what will happen is that soon you won't be able to discuss anything with people unless you talk about what's on television. And if that happens, what will the news look like? Hello. Here is the news for people who watch too much television. Today the shops were open all hours. G -g -g Gradville, g -g -g Gradville. <laughs> as, as it was the first day of the sales. Hello, I'm Alexis Sailorite. <laughs> Shopkeepers reported a bumper day. Hello and welcome to Question Time. <laughs> Although one butcher had all his meat stolen. Hey, don't push me! You know, don't push me! <laughs> it was Sylvester stolen, yes. If... <laughs> all right, I can wait. <laughs> All the thieves left, said the butcher, was an old ham. Hello, I'm Donald Sinden. <laughs> Today, in London, police message in a bottle were using a new prototype ray gun. Yeah, my fellow Americans <laughs> to search for a male. Okay, busters. <laughs> they chased the man up a hill. Good evening, viewers. There was a heavy frost. Hello, good evening, and welcome. And then they trod in something small and nasty. You'll like this. Not a lot, but you'll like it. <laughs> Eventually, however, everything was all right, and the police managed to arrest this gross man. So let's look through the hill. <laughs> and finally, cricket news. Ladies and gentlemen, there's no more. Thank you, and good night. <laughs> Okay. Well done, Andrew. Smashing spot there. You're a clever guy, as I said earlier on, and you, you do write all your own stuff, which is unusual today, huh? Worried here about what you're going to leave them as a clue object. Oh, what no, you'll like these. A set of magic rings. A set of magic yeah. rings. A set of rings, OK? Yeah, uh, and their rhyme says what? OK, the Far East could give you the chance to say, an old flame has brightened my every day. Ooh. So easy, aren't they? Really? Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> Andrew O'Connor. Good luck, Andrew. Right. All the best, mate. Bye-bye. Oh. I must say that there's a bit of business going on yeah, over here. What about like, Sharon? What do you think? That sounds like it could be a trip out to the Olympic Games to me. <laughs> At least you're thinking about it. What do you think it could be? I think it could be a holiday or something. Yeah? Yeah. Could, yeah. yeah. OK, so that's a bin, that's a holiday so far. Mm. All right, one more on the table. <laughs> then both couples have got to choose one to reject if they're going to be lucky enough to get through the question. Good luck. Here we're going to bring some people to you who are terrific entertainers. I've worked with them many times. They go all around the world. I know they're just back from Germany, but in my mind stands out a terrific concert they did at the Dominion with the great Bob Hope. Welcome back, Stutz Bearcat. <laughs> Yeah. 
And uh, I, as I said in the intro there, you're back from Germany, you had a good yeah, tour there. we've been doing some television work over there. Uh -huh. Now listen, this is the third prize which they're very worried about. What are you leaving for them? It's a roll of finishing tape. That's the clue, a roll of finishing yeah. tape. Listen to the rhyme. All right, shooting, fast running and putting the shot. This is your chance to take part in the lot. Okay. Mm. That mm. is the third one on the table tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, Jane of Stutz Bearcats. Thank you. Nice to see you again. Well, okay, well, you just read that one from Jane. I can read the other two again yeah, as we have three on the table. Okay, then you've got to choose one to get rid of. Okay, this was item number one, the old running shoe. This came in from Grace Kennedy. Grace said, parked outside your house, guaranteed not to rust, though it's not guaranteed against gathering dust. Here's the second one. This got a set of magic rings came in from Andrew O'Connor. He said, the Far East could give you the chance to say, an old flame has brightened my every day. Yeah, old flame, Olympic, Olympic flame. flame. Yeah, all right. Back yeah. Yeah. So, go to the, so that's what yeah. that is. Okay, so you, well, you, you've got to now reject well, it. Yeah. Well, I, I think, think that's the, the, yeah. the shoe's got to be given the boot. Yeah. Yeah, so you're going along with that, Suzanne? Yeah. All right, then you whoever gets through this question is going to reject that one. Okay, oh, the old question. running shoe. Here is the elimination Quick. question, right? Quicker than now listen, I'm going to start to read the question. When you think you know the answer, hit the button and answer. Now this is the question. This man is used to getting plastered. He has flown for his country. He's famous for being a short long jumper. He wears glasses like Dennis Taylor. And his initials are E E. Uh, Suzanne? Adrian. Eddie the Eagle. Eddie, Eddie the Eagle Edwards, you just yeah. got it. Yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Sorry. You see? Oh, wow. They are sporting competitors. <laughs> He's got it now. He's apologising, saying sorry. He's got it. But we congratulations. Don't so tough. <laughs> <laughs> I'm good. You're, you're a part here tonight. Anyway, uh, it's been lovely uh, having you on the show, Sharon and Terry. And Linda's here, of course, with your ceramic dusty bins yeah. each. Yeah. One each there for you. you. And of course, oh, there's the money, much. which I think Thank was you. 240 pounds. Okay, that's going to the Sports Aid Trust as well. <laughs> okay, Tell. Yeah. Yes, so the I should money. take Thank Linda you. backstage. Tell her a few times. All the best, Sharon. Take care. Thank you. Good luck, Terry. Thank you so much. Good luck. Yeah. Listen to this. It's, it's, Adrian Moore has is incredible. He said, oh, I haven't seen the show much. He said, I've seen it a couple of times. I think that's that. That's Dusty Bin. He knows more than we do. Anyway, we're going away for the break. You've rejected the old running shoe. Yeah. We're going to come back in just a couple of minutes and see exactly what that is. See you after the break. Three, two, one. OK, don't go far. <laughs> Welcome back to 3 to ones Olympic Special and Adrian Morehouse and Suzanne Dando have won through to this part of the show. Remember, everything going to Sports Aid Trust Charity tonight and you have rejected 
this number one item. OK, you thought in the break what it could be? Still, still think it's the, you hope it's the bin, I know that. Yeah. It certainly sounded a little like it, didn't it? OK, Grace Kennedy brought you in the old running shoe and said, parked outside your house, guaranteed not to rust, though it's not guaranteed against gathering dust. And once it's opened, it's going to be rejected. OK, parked outside your house, guaranteed not to rust. Well, most car companies guarantee you against rust these days, but then, of course, Dusty Bin, he's, he's certainly galvanised, so he can't rust. The clue object was an old running shoe, which means something for the rubbish or something to keep as a souvenir. Because in the future, instead of running, you'd have been riding. Oh, You've no. got rid of the Vauxhall Nova. Oh! So the box all over car, not exactly Grace. dusty bin. Just oh, keep dear. thinking about that bin. That's what we're after. We're going to have now act number four. Here's a gentleman. He's he's really talented too. All over the world, this man performs. Originally he comes from Germany. Please welcome great juggler Bart Celli. What an act. Oh, dear. Listen, you're ever out of work, I can get you a great job at British Rail washing up. <laughs> <laughs> what are you going to leave as a well, clue? Well, I've got uh, a bronze medal. A bronze medal yes. is the clue this time. Ah, yes. Now, do they like that one or not? Can we have the rhyme, please? Yes. Listen to this. A well-known model, <laughs> never been on the road, <laughs> and it also carries a bumper load. A bumper load. It also carries a bumper load. Ich schwöre, das ist ein bumper load. Österreichisch mit unserer Dampfe fahrt Gesellschaft. Schneiden wir uns in Schlesen, Schneiden, Hitzen, Schlitzen haben. Spaß. Well done. Thank you very much.
Bob Shelley, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you, Thank you Mark. <laughs> Lovely. Oh, so, listen, I, I did you make anything out of that one? <laughs> a well-known model, I don't know. Uh -huh. Could be uh, somebody's sounds name. Like... I mean, it can't be the car, can it? It's on the road, model. But well, they're all great prizes. That could have been the car the if we hadn't lost it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. well, I tell you, what, you've heard that. I can yeah. read one of the other two again just to Which refresh your you memories. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. The rings yeah. came no, in. Remember, go. from yeah. Andrew. Finishing tape from Jane the Stutz Bearcats. Oh. What do you want to hear again? One of these two. Want to hear this one? Yeah. All right. Jane the Stutz Bearcats brought in the role of finishing tape and said, "Shooting, fast running, and putting the shot. This is your chance to take part in the lot." Well, wait. We get rid of that. You want to get rid of it? So it's going to go, is it? Yeah, yeah go He on. paused a bit. Yeah? Well, we, Suzanne? Pause. we don't know, do we? <laughs> All right, you're going to reject then the yeah. roll of finishing tape that Jane brought in. Shooting, fast running, and putting in a shot. This is your chance to take part in the lot, is what she said. Shooting, fast running, and putting the shot. All those things could be referring to events in the Olympic Games. Or on the other hand, they could be referring to things that you could do with this prize. Mm. The clue object was a finishing tape, or in this case, a finish tape. This is your chance to take part in the lot. And you could have been shooting, fast running, and putting okay. the shot down on tape with this. It's a Sony camcorder, the machine that's capable of making your home movies the envy of even people like Steven Spielberg. Comes with its own video deck, a 27-inch teletext television set, a digital scanner, and a TV stand and tripod. The ideal equipment to capture all those golden moments, not only of the Olympics, but with your own family too. A great prize, I'm sure you'll agree. Okay, one more on the table, then we're down to the final three, okay? So let's get on and have act number five. Here's a terrific fella, great singer. Please welcome Scott Fitzgerald. Just a tear away Goodbye you, you long lost summer Leave a lead behind you Repeating things for lovers that may find you I still hang on to every word that day You pass my way, Joanna You made a man a child again so sweetly You breathed your smile and in your eyes completely that on his heart there is still a trace of you. I love you, but nothing in the world could make you mine. Yet still in time, Joanna.
Well done, Scott. That's it. Smash it. Absolutely knockout, boys. Yeah. Knockout song, that. I've always like to hear that one. I'm, I, I, I did feel like everybody else for you in that Eurovision, huh? One point. But he did a great job that night, folks, didn't he? Yeah. He really did. And a smashing job here tonight. Glad that you're with us. What, what are you going to leave them here as a clue? What have you got for them? Well, this is a sprinter's cup. OK, a sprinter's cup is the clue. Sprinter's and cup, what does yeah. their rhyme say? Uh, you will travel over land and sea, sit or stand, the choice is free. That is the last one here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, please thank Scott Fitzgerald. Scott, thank good luck, mate. Thank, you. Good thank you very much. Scott Fitzgerald. Chat, 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 Suzanne. What do you think oh, yeah. of that? Any idea? I haven't got a clue. We haven't got a clue about that. <laughs> Suddenly it's all gone, is it? We're, we're not sure that this we're is a good We're not sure that is because prize. there's a ring missing, so yes, I don't think, Olympic I rings, think it's a bit of a catch should be another one. So, yeah. yeah. And, and well, ring... Rhymes with... Bin. Dusty bin. Ring. <laughs> ring, might have ring, the other ring rhymes with bin. And it's also like... Well, it bin, yeah. like no, but it. we think it might be a bogus prize because there's like one ring missing. It should be okay. the five mm. Olympic rings. It could okay. be jewelry. It could be jewelry. Well, look, yeah. we have the final yeah. three on the table. You've just heard that from Scott. I can read one of the other two just to refresh your memory again. What would you like to hear? Just the medal. Yeah. yeah, the medal. Yeah. Yeah. All right, then. Yes, the bronze medal came in from Bart's Shelley, who said, a well-known well model, never been on the road, and it also carries a bumper load. Right. Is what he said. Well, we think there might be a catch, don't we? Yeah. Well, we have. But we thought there might be like, a catch. Might be another car. It could like be it. another car with it's a load a new, of goodies new model, in it. Really? Bumper load. Yeah, we're very good up here at doing but things like that. that. <laughs> <laughs> we haven't done very well so far, so we. Don't. Well, you know, I the, think the this thing is, yeah, we should get rid of that. Yeah. We're going to get rid of that one. We think. You are definitely. Yeah. I think, yeah. Please, the rings, yeah. yeah. Okay? Yeah, the rings. Okay with you, Adrian? Yeah, the rings. Yeah. How about Suzanne? Yeah. And not too good with you, but they're going to get rid of it. Is that okay? <laughs> it's going to go. Yes. All right, then. Andrew O'Connor brought in a set of rings. The Far East could give you the chance to say an old flame has brightened my every day. Now, then, Which is it? Which jewellery we have? Jewellery. OK, the Far East could give you the chance to say, of course, that could start you thinking about a trip somewhere. Where? That leads to the next line. An old flame has brightened my every day. Too obvious, he says. Well, the clue object was rings, linked circles, which represent circles on the Olympic flag. Olympics. You could have been there. It's a fantastic holiday, too. Have a look at this. Yes, it would have been a trip for two to Seoul for this year's Olympic Games. It would have been a super 11-day sporting holiday in the Far East, for besides the trip, you would have got free tickets to the Games themselves with a choice of attending either the first or the second week. More than that, this prize would have included eight days in the colourful city of Seoul, staying at a luxury four-star hotel. No doubt about it, this would have been the sporting holiday of a lifetime. <laughs> the sporting holiday of a lifetime. Of course, it doesn't really matter. You're going anyway, aren't you, Adrian? <laughs> <laughs> yes, my nice goodness. Else, it would though. have been nice to somebody else, as yeah. indeed you're playing for charity tonight. A terrific prize, yeah. that. Anyway, here we are, the final two on the table. <clears> Being <throat> the final two, I can read them both again. Well, I've got to have them both. <laughs> Okay, uh, this was brought in item number four, bronze medal from Bart's Shelley. He said, this was the Sprinter's Cup. It came in just now, the last one from really Scott Fitzgerald. He said, you will travel over land and sea. See how it can be linked to the bin? I don't. Yeah, but that's got the metal. <laughs> but they do. They the all metal do. metal bin, the bronze. There's a bit in bronze. What do you think, folks? What are they oh. going to get rid of? <laughs> metal. <laughs> metal. Cook. Metal. Cook. Metal. He's got it. Get rid of the metal. You want to get rid of the cup? Because you don't like the cup. No? It's going to go, is yeah. it? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Makes you say no, yeah. <laughs> What's it going to be? Yes, go on, Adrian. Yes, yeah, the You're cup, going. The, cup, the cup's going to go. Is it going to go? Yeah. Together, thank you. All right. <laughs> I'll stick cup. by you, Adrian, if you stick by me. All right, okay. You will travel over land and sea, sit or stand, the choice is free, is what Scott Fitzgerald said. You will travel over land and sea, could start you thinking of flying somewhere except for the... which suggests speed. In fact, it could be this prize's equivalent of the America's Cup. With it, you can stand on skis or sit on board. Listen to this! Yes, you would have been able to sit in comfort and travel at a high rate of knots.
Hence the exhilaration of skimming the briny at high speed on the magnificent water skis that come with it. For travelling overland, it also includes its own trailer, plus wetsuits and life jackets. Everything, in fact, never been on the road but it also carries a bumper load I'm sorry I've got to rub this in no. <laughs> a well-known model there. never been on the road that's true it's never been on the road because usually it's standing on the pavement that leads you to it also carries a bumper load it does each week the clue is a bronze medal which suggests it's not the gold it's not the silver but the bronze in other words dusty bin it is a special show of course this it did say it carries a bumper load which you've latched on to Maybe a bit too keen. He actually does carry a bumper load at the moment. You saw it as he came in. It's a set of keys. It's the Vauxhall Astra. Yeah! <laughs> Remember, all the money won in the quiz goes to the Sports Aid Trust, as indeed does this prize of this terrific car. And as I said earlier on, it's going to be auctioned to get more money for that fabulous Sports Aid Trust. I want to thank all of our marvellous celebrity guests, all of our great guests, and thank you for watching. Have a good couple of months. We we'll look forward to seeing you on our Christmas special. Good night, everybody. Have a good time. Bye-bye. <laughs>